we start recording. So in the last lecture, once again, a very good afternoon and welcome to today's class. It's Saturday today, and it's going to be the first class of your week. So in my last class, I have taught you about operators and math functions, and then I gave you some basic introduction about C sharp strings. strings, right? So I told you what are strings and I gave you some examples how we can define a string uh, by using an example. And also I told you how to calculate the length of the string using an example, right? So as I've told you strings like the text we wrote or the text that we write, sorry, not wrote, the text we write uh, through using the English alphabets, they make sentences, they make paragraphs, they make pages. All right, so those all the uh, things are called as strings. All right, so a word or two words, three words, four, five, six, and so on, they are all called strings. Okay, so then I told you how we can define a variable with the data type string and store some information in it and display that. And uh, this is the way, and then how we can display that. This is the Way. So grading plus, this is the variable name and this is the data type and it's gonna display you welcome Mr. Carlos in our club. And then I told you there are some functions in strengths which you have to learn or which I'm going to teach you and you're going to understand. So the first function was string length. So what is this function and how it's going to work and what will be the output of this function. I told you string length is basically a function which will help you to calculate or to return you the length of the string. How much characters you are going to have in that string, whether one, two, three, four, five, up to 100, it will give you the number of those characters. That's called as length, okay? And I gave you an example last time. If you see here, string message, this was just some alphabets you know, and then if you want to know how many characters are there in this particular string, you have to define it and then you will display it or you will return the length of it or you want to get the characters of this string. So length, we can say message dot, that's message. So that's a variable name where we have the string stored it dot length, all right? That's one way. Another way is we can define another variable. Input output is equal to message.length. So instead of message.length, as we have stored this statement in a variable called output, we can use directly the variable here plus output. Okay, clear? Okay, so now we will move forward with some more methods that we use. So other methods, or you can say functions, so methods. Wait a sec, let me copy this string over here. That's the example of length. Now methods. Are you here with me? Yeah. So along with this method, or you can say a function called length, or mostly you can call it as a method, there are other very nice and beautiful methods that we can use with strings, okay? So those are, for example, if you have to return an uppercase from a lowercase string, we can use the method to upper, okay? If you have to return or if you wanted to get a lowercase from an uppercase, we can use a lowercase from an uppercase, we can use to low lower. If you have to return an uppercase from a lowercase string, we can use to upper method, all right? So we have two upper, you 
PPER method, and we have two lower or lower, whatever uh, you pronounce it. So these are the two methods which are going to help us to convert a capital string into small and a small string into a capital. Okay. So simply these two methods are helping us to convert a string into to convert a string into uppercase or lowercase and lowercase. That's it. Now how do you do that? In a very simple way, we will take an example of it without writing here. I will directly go and write it in my IDE, in my Visual Studio already. A project is created. I'm gonna use the same one, or you can create a new project if you want, okay? So, all right, let's create a new project now. Console app.net core, it should be console, C sharp, Linux, Mac OS or Windows, select it and click on next and name it as strings in C sharp, S H A R P C sharp, and then create it. Yep, you want to save the things in the currently running project, you can save it. Yeah, we go by default, there is one string already there, but we are not going to use it. Okay, I'm gonna make it a bit big for you. So string, sorry. So simply in order to use string, string methods, our first method is, as I've told you before, that's length, but we are now into upper and to lower L is capital as you know in programming language most of the time you have to be very careful because it's case sensitive so now in order to make use of these methods first of all what we are going to do we are going to define a variable with the data type String. So suppose that the same string I will use grading here is equal to, I will say it's equal to hi or welcome Miss Hadil or Mr. or Miss Hadil. All right, this is our string and I have stored it in a variable called grating. Now, if you have to convert, this is right now, there are some words which are in capitals, there are some words or some letters, not words, some letters which are in smalls, but you want the complete string to be in capitals. So what you are going to do at that time, we will make use of the statement console dot write line, okay? Then inside this, we will use the variable name. Inside the parenthesis, we have the variable name. What's the variable name? It's grading. So it's grading here, the variable name over here. It will automatically give it to you. You just have to type G and it will give you the grading, okay? Grating dot, we are applying this to the variable grating and inside this variable, this string is stored in, okay? This is the variable name, all right? So in the dot, we will use the method to upper, you can see it's to lower and you have to use to upper. That's it. And semicolon. That's if you wanted to convert it into upper. And then another statement I'm gonna write for lower. So the same string greeting dot to lower is here. And I will use two parentheses as is it's a method. So with this, we will get the exact output. This is for converting a string into uppercase. And this is for converting this particular string into lowercase. We will save it then, control S, and then we can run it from here, from the toolbar, which is string in C sharp. You will click on it. You will 
be able to run it. But most of the time, as you are the computer professionals, there's no need to go here. Most of the time we use keyboard. So you can press F5 key from the keyboard. Okay, so function key F5 and you hit enter. It will take some time and you hopefully will get the result here on your console on the command prompt. You can see, welcome Miss Hadil, it is written. You can see it's written in smalls and capitals, but the first statement, which is console dot right line grading to upper, all the words will be in upper. Then the second statement is grading dot to lower, whatever is it here, it's gonna give the result in lowercase, you can see. And in third is hello world, which is just here. If you want to delete it, it's not gonna convert it into anything because we have applied this to only the variable which is greeting and it has got storage of this string. Welcome, Miss Hadil. Got it clear? Hello, are you there? Yes. Yes, Mr. Yep, Michael, everything is clear. So this is today's first uh, tutorial on methods of or functions of strings. That was just a very simple thing, how we can convert a string into uppercase and lowercase. You got it? You want to do it? Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good? Okay. Great, so I'm gonna comment it. But before that, I will also copy this into my notepad over here. Yep, that's how do we do it. And you will always should, you should close this. That's commented line. Then that was about two upper and two lower. Next is string concatenation. Another method, or you can say another function, concatenation. String concatenation, any idea about it? What is string concatenation? Combining yep. two or more strings together. Yep, it's just like adding, you know, we're using the plus operator to combine the two strings. Suppose that you have first name or second name, you want to combine it together, you can combine it using the concatenation, okay? So string concatenation in C sharp is very, very simple. The concept is clear. We are just trying to combine two different strings. For example, you have C-A-R here, you, you, you will give a space and L-O-S. Basically, this is a name, but if you give a space over here, they become two words, but basically it is just one word. So it's right now, it's a car, then lose or loss. You, you can say there is no uh, unmeaning of this right now, but when we combine them together, it will become car loose. That's a name which is given to a person or which can be given to a person. Are you understanding? So we are basically using plus operator in between strings to combine them. So in C sharp, the plus operator is used between strings to combine them. That's called as concatenation. Okay, now example, the demonstration, how we can concatenate two strings using the operator plus operator. How do we do it? How can we combine two strings together? Okay, let's go to our Visual Studio. And now over here, I am going to add a comment called string concatenation. And now an example. So if you have to concatenate two strings, that means you have to take two variables where you will store two strings that you want to combine or you want to concatenate, okay? So then 
I will define one string string. I will say first name equals to, for example, car, okay, or Carlos. Let's say Carlos. Let's say car, that's it. And string last name equals to LOS. So these are the two variables, first name and last name. Basically, this is just a single name, Carlos, but I have stored this in, or I have stored both this, uh, uh, you can say, you can say these are two strings. I have stored them in two different variables. Now, what we have to do is we have to store both these strings in a single variable. How we can do that? We will define another variable and we will say its name, or you can say full name and equals to what we are gonna do, we will just use plus or we'll just use plus operator like we did in addition operators. How we can add two values, 10 plus, you can say 10 plus 78. You used to do that or the variable name. Same thing, we have to use it here. So this car is stored in a variable called first name. We will write it here. Is equal to first name plus, we'll use plus and this lock call loose is stored in last name. We'll just write it here and then semicolon. Now it means that both car and loose are stored in, they will get added together. First name will car loose will be added to loss and they will be added together. And then they will be stored in a single variable called full name. Now, if you have to display it, so what we have to do, we'll use console dot right line, then the variable name, which is full name and semicolon. That's it. That's how do we concatenate the string. Save it and then F5 run it. You will see car loose will be the string. A name of a person, there is no space at all and it's stored in a variable called full name now. If you want before it, you want to display both the strings, what you have to do, you will just copy it and you will paste it here, then paste it again. Now, you just need to replace this first name, uh, sorry, full name with first name. So that's first name. And then second string, you have to replace this with the last name, which is here, the variable name, last name. So save it and then run again. You will now see it's car in the first statement because first name is having car stored in it and last name is having loss stored in it. But at last I used this string, full name is equal to first name plus last name. And then I just printed out the variable full name. So console.write line full name will be car loose. You can see car loose is the concatenated string. Okay, clear? Yeah. Yeah, with it so that's concatenation anyone want to try it or want to write it up mm -hmm. this is the example great so i'm gonna move ahead so string next topic is interpolation inter this is another option of string concatenation, which is going to help us to substitute values of variables into placeholders in a string. But you have to remember that you do not have to worry about spaces like with concatenation. All right, so in concatenation, we need to make sure that there's no space, but here we do not have to waste or we do not have to worry about the spaces. We can substitute the letters or strings within some, you know, uh, string. Suppose that you are writing a string 
my name is Carlos Arrow. So name is missing. We can store. We can just we can say my name is you know dash 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 dash. So in here we can store it. We can say first name which is a variable name and then last name which is also a variable name. That's interpolation which you are going to understand just after some time but that's I can say another option of string concatenation. It is another option of string concatenation which con oh I'm missing some words catenation which helps us or helps us to substitute substitute values of variables into variables into placeholders we can have some placeholders within the string or within the variable so into placeholders in a string but you must remember that you do not have to worry about the spaces like with on Catenation. Then example, which I'm going to show you now, so that you can better, better understand it. Let's go to our IDE. Here it's string in, interpol interpolation. Interpolation. All right, so what we are going to do is we are simply going to take two variables again, string, for example, student, or you can say any other thing that you want. STD name you can say Nick or Michael string std course equals to ACCP. Then I'm going to define another data type string, sorry, uh, with the variable student info. So that's student name Michael and student courses ACCP and I will say that student name. So what we have to do here is very simple. Whatever we do in the interpolation, we have to add a dollar sign and then a string, which is student information is and then a semicolon here. And after that, we are going to add curly brackets two times for two variables, two times, okay? So in this one, we are going to store the variable student name, 
student information is Michael and student course is you can say ACCP it will be stored here and then we are going to close the string here and then it should not be closed here this string should be closed here it's within the string what happened now and semi colon there's an issue here what happened all right so that string info when you make use of interpolation you have to start with the dollar sign then within the string you have to write everything we are not using the parentheses like these the brackets we are not using we are using curly brackets here student information is and then inside the two curly brackets we are using or we are writing we are mentioning the first variable name and then after that we are mentioning the second variable name there's no need to give the spaces here just let it be all right so then in order to display them we are using console dot right line as always and then the student info semi colon and then save them and then run the program and you can see student information is michael accp so instead of student name it will give you what is stored in the variable student name which is michael and student course you can see i have stored there acc p are you getting me yeah great wonderful so that was about the string interpolation okay clear yeah great there will be a small task after i complete this tutorial of strings so don't think that even if you're not able to understand you're saying yes so i'm gonna give you a task you have to do that and that can be an assignment for you then next topic is access strings what am i doing it was something access strings how can we access strings based on their numbers based on the positions okay so the best thing is we can access the strings based on the indexing of them wait a sec this is an example which i'm going to paste here all of us interpolation now accessing or accessing or this access strings access strings is very simple but the concept should be clear as always we can access strings or we can access characters in a string by referring ref e r r i n g referring to its index number inside the oh my gosh the square brackets you have to use square brackets not curly not the brackets small ones we have to use these brackets okay so brackets are here now taking an example of it let's go and take an example of accessing a string it's very very simple and i hope you are enjoying it or you are going to enjoy it with me so how can we access it simply when i define a variable as always for example it's mm, my computer my computer is equal to botnet fire
And now I have to access the string, sorry, a character from this string, okay? For example, you want to start with zero. So I will use my computer and in the brackets, in the square brackets, I have to give the position name, which is for example, zero, and then save it and run it. At zero's position, you can see the first, as you, told, as you know that I'm being telling you, your computer stores, your variable stores information from zero, then one, two, three, four, five. So at zero, it's ball B. And for example, you want to check what's at one, it's gonna be O. Then at two, Let's say two. I will just first of all close this. You should always close it and then run it again. Save and run. You can see B at zero's place, one at, uh, sorry, O at one's place, T at two's place. Okay, in the same way, for example, it's a random thing I'm going to take now. For example, how many characters are there? What's the length? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Suppose that I want to take, I want to know. What is the correct at character at eight position? I will save it and run it again. You will see at eighth position we have R, which is F I R. Okay, and at ninth you will just change it to ninth and run it again you will have E, which is at ninth position, but total number of words are 10. And as it's storing it from zero, that means the ninth will be E. It will not be the 10th, it will be ninth. That's how can we access the characters within a string, okay? So indexing in strings is going to start with zero. So indexing, in strings will be starting with zero. You need to remember this thing, okay? Hello. Yes. Got it? Yeah. Very good. Now, there's a question for you all. Okay, so I am going to comment this thing, but I will not be forgetting to copy it into my notepad. Now, task for you. Create, first thing is create a new project with, with the name task first, second, first of all, write a program to concatenate two strings gohar and mushtaq write a program to use interpo interpolation by substituting two strings, Arshad and Khan. Both write a program to not 
within the same project, you have to write all these programs, okay, and give me the screenshots uh, with the output. Uh, write a program. What was the last thing that I've taught you? Uh -huh. Finding the letters within the index. Yeah. So, write a program to find the index number of the character in the string aptek cutter. That's it. So this is a task for you. Try to do it. You are having, it's 441, you're having 15 minutes. 441, uh, 450, and then 456, up to 456. Time, 15 minutes. Go for it. 15 minutes at 457, okay, p.m. Take 5 p.m. Try to do it fast. Wait a sec, let me take the attendance. Print screen. Are you all here? Michael, Hadil, Lubna, and Carlos. Do it and send me the screenshots. Everyone, would you please unmute all of you? Yes, we're here. Yes, yes, sir. Hadil and Lubna. Okay, so those who want to do it, do it. Do not waste the time. And at five, time is over, about to go on for this meeting, okay? So I hope you got the uh, entire, uh, you know, uh, module of strengths, right? We have a lot of things with strengths, but these are the basic things which are very important to uh, talk or to taught you or to teach you. I hope there's no uh, question for this tutorial, right? No questions. Okay, so go through this particular task and I will be starting my next tutorial at five, okay, after 15 minutes. Bye-bye, good luck. I will copy this into your group.